This One Degree Outside video is sponsored by the Topps Field Fair, America's oldest fair. You can pre-order your admission, meal, and ride tickets today at topsfieldfair.org and join the fun October 4th through 14th, conveniently located on Route 1, just off of Interstate 95. Hi, Matt Noyce, Friday Insights for you, and we combine it with Evening Essentials on a Friday as well. Danielle, really focused on the next 24 hours in Noyce's Notes, One Degree Outside today. You'll find that on our homepage. You'll find the Fall Foliage Report that's uh, out on our homepage at OneDegreeOutside.com. And I'll get the Coastal Marine forecast for the weekend posted up before too long as well. But as for what's coming up for this weekend, look, it's mostly minor coastal flooding at each successive high tide cycle, which will be early afternoon and then after midnight each night. Uh, This will be through Saturday afternoon. Uh, But when you get on the north side of Cape Cod, the south side of Cape Cod Bay, you may be able to just tickle the moderate flood category in some place like East Dennis. So it's a little bit worse for you just because you've had this persistent wind out of the northeast that will come out of the north-northeast over the next 24 to 36 hours. The showers will still be around for many of us on Saturday. Big ocean waves, too. So obviously rip currents at the beaches are going to be a concern. We're still expecting some slow but steady improvement on Sunday. And then the extended forecast is going to bring some additional chances for showers. Oh, by the way, though, the tops feel fair open day is on the 14-day forecast. So I've got that for you coming up at the end of this video too. Okay, in terms of wind, look, as we get into Friday at 11 p.m. here later this evening, we're talking about still the wind coming in off the ocean. It is still perhaps gusting 40 to 50 miles per hour on parts of the Cape and the islands. So it is a windy day. It's a windy night tonight. But during the day Saturday, you will at least notice those numbers start to come down a little bit. And from that point forward, they gradually decrease getting into Sunday as well. So you kind of reach your peak here as we get into the evening uh, this evening, and then it comes back down. Again. All right. Meanwhile, water vapor imagery really traces nicely where the center of circulation is from this upper level energy. And as long as this is over us, you're still going to get these areas of uh, rain and showers to develop. And you can see what it's been doing kind of flares up with the white and green, the deeper moisture. And then it takes a little break and it flares up again. And that kind of cycling is going to happen all the way through Saturday, which is why we say the rain will come back. You know, it's nice just to see some sort of rain on the last 24 hour observed map, right? Many of us was just enough for puddles in eastern Massachusetts, but it was more than that on the Cape. And when we look out, let's say, to the next 24 hours through tomorrow morning, we'll add more still on Cape Cod. Many of us will at least add some showers, and then I think on Saturday you'll add more. So we'll look at the whole weekend total in a second. Bottom line on the surface map, though, you've got a storm center sitting off the coast. You've got a cold front coming from the west. The cold front eventually kicks that storm out, which is why we do see things improving, particularly by Sunday. Big general picture, and we're going to get a little more focused in a second. Big general picture on Saturday, number of showers, central and southern New England. Farther north that you go, the drier it is. Maybe very good for picture taking uh, when you get up to the, uh, the moderate leaf color across northern New England. And then by the time we get to Sunday, you've got a drying trend that may not be there first thing in the morning, but it should come out over the course of the day. Monday may start with sun and with clouds. And the next round of showers is into western New England later on Tuesday. And for more of us, probably by Tuesday evening and night, as long as the timing doesn't change. There's that closer inspection I told you about for your Saturday, right? So basically, look, northern and western New England, youth, youth sports should be, should be fine. Outdoor plans, for the most part, should be fine, too, when you get west of I-91. But from I-91 east, you do have a number of showers. The only thing I'll point out at midday tomorrow is, look, there are definitely holes that are developing in between the showers here. The reason I point that out is because as we get closer to it, use our app, uh, Noises One Degree Outside Weather app. Go to the radar tab, do Pass Plus future and see what it, what it looks like because some of you who can play youth sports or whatever the case might be with a wet ground you just don't want the rain to be coming down may get a couple of breaks it's worth tracking either way there's sunday looking a good deal better i bet there'll be some clouds there'll be some drizzle there'll be a couple of showers left in the early going but as the day goes on and the drier air comes in it really does eat away at the clouds brings out some sunshine and breaks anyway during the afternoon so when you put together all the rain over the course of the weekend it's not like there's a lot of additional rain on Saturday, but we do tip the scale over half an inch when you get in some place like Boston. We should go over a quarter inch in Worcester. We'll take whatever we can get. All right, in terms of the temperature, you can imagine, look, having a north-northeasterly wind and a lot of clouds is going to keep the temperature down, right? So Saturday's highs are running in the 60s, although there's western New England and northern New England looking and feeling a little bit better. Saturday night will drop down to the 50s for most of us. Sunday, remember, you probably start out with clouds, maybe some coastal drizzle, a shower here and there, pockets of fog perhaps near the coast as well. But as we go through the day, the sun comes out more and more. So if you were to ask me, when is the best time, except for northern and western New England, when's the best time of the weekend? I'd say probably... It's from Sunday midday into the afternoon, by the way things look right now. 
You get cool Sunday night with that drier air moving in. Monday is running in the 60s, but the clouds are already increasing, and we're getting ready for that next round of showers I told you about that comes into western New England Tuesday during the afternoon for the rest of us by the evening. Extended forecast. This is your Tops Field extended forecast. Thanks again to the Tops Field Fair for sponsoring us over the course of the month, running right up through the fair. By the way, opening day shows up there at the end of the 14-day, but I'll tell you that as we get into the upcoming week, there is an elevated chance of showers Wednesday, Thursday, and perhaps even Friday. Uh, That should move along. Right now, the thought process is next weekend, though, you may still have an elevated chance of showers Saturday that comes down by Sunday. And then getting into the following week, which leads up to that opening day for the Topsfield Fair, it's a little bit more normal pattern. As I mentioned, you start to get disturbances moving a little bit quicker along, which means you get the shower chances, yes, but they don't last very long. And right now, opening day at the fair actually looks very good for us, so we'll hope that that holds. But either way, you can grab your 14-day forecast right off of our app, Noises One Degree Outside Weather app, on the App Store and Google Play. Hope you have a great rest of your day today. We'll see you with the Saturday morning update. And don't forget, there's a lot of stuff, that foliage report, the photo segment, Danielle's look at the next 24 hours, all sitting on our homepage waiting for you at OneDegreeOutside.com.